See that? That's a storm on the way. We just had one last night. The water level is crazy high. There's going to be flooding. They're already putting out the sandbags. Um, you can see it's the, lip, the tide isn't fully in yet, but it's already up to the top of the walls. Um, this is Icon Siam. I haven't been here in four years. It'll be interesting to see how it's doing post COVID. But look at that, isn't that amazing with that huge storm clouds coming in behind it? So I think we ought to get inside now before the storm. I am wearing my rainbow dress from Glastonbury to go to the Icon Siam today. <laughs> so let's go and see what we can find. Look, there's a little pocket of brightness over there, like a little little hole in the sky. Right, so here we are. Very impressive building. Icon Siam. I think they put this extra protection up to try and stop people getting soaked. I think so. Tiffany's, Hermes, Petit Philippe, Salvatore Ferragamo, Rimau, I don't even have to, Bulgari, Dolce and Gabbana, and Cartier over there behind the behind there, yeah look Cartier definitely not the kind of shopping that I can afford but it's nice to look sometimes but they have a really good food court um, and they do have some fun stuff too and they're not such an expensive part pretty decorations so you almost feel like you're outside inside Twining's tea do love me some tea tea is important in my life very close place in my heart dear tummy <laughs> food 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 lots of food everywhere you go these are all the local sweets Peppers. mango type mango sticky rice with the crunchy bits on the top Sweeties, bright rainbow colours, so happy. <laughs> Actually, this is um, very similar to the quay that you have in Malaysia that I showed you in the night market. Again, using the blue pea flowers to colour the, um, the noodles. These are like dried fishes, but like sweet and crunchy. Not everybody's favourite, but you know, some they very much loved here. Oh. Are you having a cough? Pomegranates, beautiful pomegranates, um, passion fruit, these are the fresh passion fruit, dim sum, bao buns. mangoes these are rose apples they're very very pretty and they've got beautiful color to them but when you actually bite into them they're very crispy and but they've got very little flavor to them so they're a little bit disappointing because they look so beautiful look at the color of them but not a lot of flavor <laughs> the mangoes of course this is the purple dragon fruit that I was talking about and this is the white dragon fruit these are mangosteen. Now these are called the queen of fruit, whereas durian is called the king of fruit. These are called the queen of fruit, and they are absolutely delicious. But this dark purple skin stains your fingers, um, and quite often inside the little top parts here, you get ants, which is probably why these are all packed up. Um, but they are absolutely delicious. They're white fruit with a little black stone in it, and they are fabulous. That's the custard apples again. Each of those segments has a little bit of fruit in it and each fruit piece has a little stone in it but it does taste like apple and custard. Mm -hmm. Yams. Beautifully set out um, supermarket full of fresh fruit and vegetables. Little cafes. Let's have a look over here. I know I've got a lot of appreciators of jewellery. Some very pretty pieces here. Very, very um, 
I was going to say Siam, but of course it's Thailand. Very Thai. Very pretty. Oh, that one's got a bug on it. You see, as soon as I see a bug, I have to have a little look. Yeah, that's cool. I'm presuming this bit's separate. I don't know, actually. I think it might all be joined together because I don't like. I like this. I'm not so keen on this. Flowered wood, woodwork. Um, this is not where I would actually come to buy things of this nature because obviously this is one of the most expensive malls in town, in the capital city. Um, so things will have a premium price tag on them. Um, I'm guessing that they won't be cheap. Not that I can even see a price when there isn't even a price that's worrying. This is cool. Like that. Definitely like that. Okay, dungarees. Tie dye dungarees. Now the fashion here seems to be at the moment with the tie dye to all be in like sugar, sugar and spice colours, like very um, cutesy pinks and pastels. Um, and I think they'd look absolutely beautiful on my daughter with her pink hair. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find some in a in a reasonable place for her. There. Yes, I was actually just filming the miniatures around there, like little miniature stalls, all the little tiny things. Some of my students absolutely love making miniatures with me, they really, really do. So this is good inspiration for things to do. Cola machines, tools, jewellery for the jewellery shop. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Cool little bottles. That's your um, jelly for your herb tea. It's supposed to be very good for you. I mean, the escalator's fun. You see that it's like a floating village with the water around it and the old fashioned structure. Very, very cool. I remember the first time I came here being terribly impressed with the way they'd done it. The glutinous rice and the brown sugar inside it. Sweet corn, very, very popular snack. Buttered sweet corn in pots. You just buy the pot of sweet corn and just eat it with a spoon. Now here I've got some fresh uh, magazines that you can actually see here. Mangosteens, rambutans, rose apples. Those look like Sharon fruit or persimmons. The strawberries, 190 baht for strawberries. Cherries. These ones, juju chocolate. Don't know these. Interesting. This is um, the pomelo, but obviously they peeled it all for you because the pomelos are quite large and hard to handle. This is the jackfruit. Each one of these segments comes out of a giant, huge fruit that you saw at the market the other night. These are durian, the stinkiest fruit ever. Every hotel has signs, no durian allowed because it stinks. If you had smell of vision now, you would be able to smell it. So here you just choose what things you want on your sticks and then they fry them or boil them depending on what you choose. You've got spring rolls. North Thai sausage. My husband came home, very kindly trying to find the sausage, came home with these. These are the Chinese sweet fatty sausages. This, full of lemongrass, spices, herbs, fabulous. No comparison. So, which, which ones are these ones? 
and these are these are what what insect? Yeah. Like the dragonfly larva. You don't know what they're called. They're interesting. Yeah. I don't know which. Do they look a bit like their dragonfly ones? You choose your bugs and then mix them in the rice and have them with the mushrooms as well if you want to. Little dust. Tiny, tiny little. No, my brain's gone blank for the name. These are um, mochi, but I, those are. Why my brain's forgotten that word? There's the durian. The outside is as ugly as the flavour on the inside, but they are adored here. More noodles. Banana pancakes. What have we got here? We've got um, ah, moon cakes. Very pretty. Look at those. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. So this is noodles and this looks like mushrooms and these are probably corn balls I would guess. We've got curries, pastes, more mango sticky rice. Now you have to understand that as I said before this is the poshest, poshest mouth. So although all these foods are available on the street they don't look like this normally if you're just seeing them on the street. This is like the very nicest, very nicest thing. Avocado juice, orange juice, the passion fruit, and corn. Ooh. So to make this look like a traditional Thai floating market, they put food on little boat shaped stands around the edge of the water. It's so cute. See, they love their durian so much they have durian pillows. Look at that, durian pillows. Just shows how much they love it. <laughs> Making them something. Oh, yes. Oh, they're putting the peanuts, pe crushed peanuts into it. They're making them into little desserts, popping them in. I think that's the stuff that's like little stringy, stringy, stringy. You can see it's like little clouds and then they fill the little clouds of fluffiness with the peanuts but if I remember rightly when you eat this it does make your mouth go very very dry it's beautiful seafood yeah. I, like that. Um, I want the Thai papaya salad that's what I'm going to ask for cucumber salad uh, salad with rice noodles might be nice. I might go for that. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm going to go for the papaya and noodle salad. So this is my um, Thai papaya salad and noodles. This is some dim sum fried um, fry dumpling um, with some dipping sauce. Wow. Um, my husband went for the fabulous really mushroomy soup which did look very good and it's quite got quite a kick to it and there we go so I'm going to enjoy that and I'll catch you later. Now we're up a floor or two up the floor and we're in the actual main shopping mall which as you can see is absolutely amazingly huge. Sephora over there for your makeup needs. H&M. There you go, you feel at home there. Urban Revo. Victoria's Secrets, Victoria Pink, Adidas, 
Oh la la. Right, I'm not going to drag you round yeah. the mouth too much because mouths aren't really what it's about. It's just that, as I showed you, the sky outside, it's a really stormy, crazy day out there. So we're hiding out um, and staying in here to keep out of the weather. Um, so I'm just going to have a little wander around. We won't get to see if there's a cinema in here, see if there's anything on at the cinema. Um, there is a cinema, so we might get up to six at some point and have a look what's going on. We didn't have any mango sticky rice, so we might go back for the mango sticky rice later. In the meantime, I'm going to wander around this exceedingly beautiful mall, and you can think you wish you were here. craft up there it says so you might have to check that out at some point said he doesn't need to go into the Apple store but I'm seeing him hovering outside it so I don't know we shall see if he's tempted in there to the Apple store Chill place. I know, I was smiling at him as he came up the stairs. Sorry? I was smiling at him as he came up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. You see, now that is a good sized mug. Need an S for Sophia. Or and then for Nana. But. I love you in the bottom. That's cute. But they're very heavy and I don't like heavy mugs. Surf and Tiger. I just caught my eye. These little funny little things with dingles on their heads wings. Very odd. I always like the hands. Marvis. Notebooks. Oh, that's cute. Yellow submarine bag. It's cute. <laughs> Oh, look at that one. <laughs> big dinosaurs. Oh, look. Mr. Bean, I got that Mr. Bean. Yeah. Is, he a, is he a big fan? Oh, you've been trying to persuade like him to be yeah, Mr. Bean. He tells me he's back in Berkeley. Uh, Frida. 380. Oh, Amy. Yeah. And Bowie. Bowie, Bowie. Which is nice. It's cool clothes, too. Oh, my name on it. Grandfather. Cool clothes. They always have unique style over here. They have things that are well designed and interesting, not just the same, 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 um, which is nice. Which is nice. See, these will be at prices I definitely couldn't afford, but I love this jacket. Nice things, nice things. Oh, that's definitely funky. Look at that. <laughs> to a touch, oops, Just to see fabric.
cool and funky things. But I would guess I would not like the level, the price on them. Um, I can't even work out what the price is on that one. 2,610. Well, 1,000 is 25 pounds. So that's going to be like 60, 70 quid. So that's way, 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 way out of our range. But cool. That cool. Is that like piece of ham with crystals and bugs on the strap? Oh my goodness. Giant spiders from outer space, I think. Oh, that's a 3D one with a flying duck. Odd. Odd but interesting. All sorts. I didn't know there was a car floor above a Oh yes, I can see there is. Vans. My, when my children were younger, this is their favourite things. Korean boy bands or Thai boy bands. The departments that make my little heart sing. Stationery. Such a thing, stationery. Always have had. A lot of fax type pages. Oh, some nice ones there. Very tight. Fantastic. I have got a whole box full and I probably don't need any more. Look, Care Bears. But that was a thing of the past. I have to say, some of the things these days, I don't even recognise what they are. Do you know? So we just stopped for a cup of coffee. Um, it's still revolting outside. Look, you can see the rain is falling when you look at the ground. It's all plimping up. Um, plimping, it's a <laughs> technical term that the river is getting even higher. Um, there's definitely going to be some flooding in Bangkok this evening. You can see the mist is like closing in on the city, shutting it down. It's all gone grey, dark grey. Um, so we're very glad that we've got a day we can just be inside out of that weather. Um, I have to show you the walls in here. So the walls are moving just see that deer getting up there they oh there's one walking in here we go uh, the walls all around are moving it's absolutely amazing so a rabbit just appeared on that one um, it's really cool so how about that if you're in the middle of the heat and yet you actually feel quite chilled um, cool 
pole and just imagine you're in Narnia. <laughs> just need a Mr. Tumnus and a light pole and you're there. Anyway, so I'm going to have a nice grapefruit tea. My husband's having a mocha coffee. We will sit here and watch our deer. Catch you later. Don't buy it back then. Let me buy it Lemon tart, grapefruit tea. Very nice. So I'm going to try this, see how it is. I had to just film these because I just think these are so cute. 